When most people think of owls, they think of wisdom. Movies and TV shows often play on this idea. Their graceful, targeted flying and huge eyes give the impression of focus and acute awareness. Not to mention, they've had this reputation since the times of ancient Greece. Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom, is often depicted with an owl nearby, evidently to whisper the truths of the world to her. But how smart are they? To answer this question, we first have to decide what we mean by smart. Simply put, intelligence is the ability to learn from experiences and apply information to adapt to novel situations. Humans have come up with plenty of tests that attempt to measure intelligence in one way or another, but animals can't just sit down and take an IQ test, so scientists have had to adopt different techniques for judging their intelligence, things like self-recognition, creative problem-solving, tool use, and whether or not they can learn behaviors in exchange for rewards. Although these methods aren't perfect, they allow us to paint a picture of the cognitive abilities of different species. Many different bird species can be trained to carry out specific tasks for a reward. It's why parrots can say stuff on demand, How about a dog? Can you bark? crows can pick up garbage, and hawks and other birds of prey can be used in falconry to hunt down animals. Owls, on the other hand, are more difficult to command. While owls are very rarely used in falconry, they're usually limited to simply existing for show due to being notoriously difficult to train. In order to even tolerate our presence, owls need to be around humans quickly after they're born. And often, this prevents them from ever being able to go live their best life in the wild. Captive reared owls are more likely than wild owls to starve, and they're much worse at recognizing and avoiding predators and other natural threats. This is because the first few weeks of life are a critical period of learning for owlets. It's when their parents model important behaviors like hunting and communicating. Many species fledge off to fend for themselves as young as six weeks. A set of Russian researchers wanted to assess the goal-oriented behavior of owls in a more experimental fashion. They used a common technique, they put inaccessible bait in front of the owl, attached to a string. The purpose was to see if the owl could figure out that pulling the string would bring the bait into his reach. Accomplishing this task exhibits the ability to problem solve and understand visual feedback. Only half of the owls figured it out. Other intelligent bird species, like crows, figured this out almost every time. Although owls may have been at a particular disadvantage in this setup as they're farsighted and don't have great dexterity. They don't even build their own nests, but rather take over an abandoned one or find a natural cavity. Owls may struggle to understand our tests, but at least one species of owl has shown evidence of tool use. The burrowing owl steals dried poop for its nest, which attracts its favorite snack, the dung beetle. The birds we tend to consider smartest are highly social, curious, and exhibit a wide variety of behavior. In contrast, owls are solitary and their behavior is less malleable derived largely on instincts. But there's a catch. Of birds, corvids and parrots are widely recognized as having large brains for their body size, and it's apparent in the wide range of cognitive tests they pass. And it turns out, owls are pretty close to them in terms of encephalization. The difference is in why each of these species has greater than average brain power. A large amount of an owl's brain is dedicated to its vision, Owls have large, tube-shaped eyes which improve their night vision. This shape prevents them from being able to roll their eyes in any direction, which is why they can turn their head 270 degrees. Unlike humans, owls can independently control the dilation of their eyes to let more or less light in. And they have multiple sets of eyelids to protect and clean their eyes. Owls also tend to have ridiculously accurate hearing. In humans, the fraction of a second it takes for a sound wave to reach one of our ears before the other is what allows us to judge the direction a sound is coming from. Owls are the only vertebrates in the world that have asymmetrical ears. Since one ear is lower than the other, the owl can interpret the difference to pinpoint the precise direction, height, and distance of a sound's origin. 
their hearing is so accurate they can pinpoint prey under layers of snow or in total darkness. Species like the barn owl have a disc shape around their face that they can consciously manipulate to guide sounds into their ear openings. In general, the larger an owl's facial disc, the more reliant that species is on their sense of hearing. So that's the truth. While owls might not be using their brains to impress humans with tricks or socialize with their owl friends, they have an incredible ability to integrate sensory information. Thanks to how they use their senses and deeply ingrained instincts, owls are one of the most successful raptors in urban environments and one of the most widely distributed in the entire world. And they're better at hunting in total darkness than any other land predator. They excel at doing what they're designed to do, they might not be smart by some human-centric standards, but it seems like they're doing just fine on their own.